Hello everyone. I am Krishna Raj, Assistant Professor from the Department of Automobile Engineering, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. Good day to all. In this today's video lecture, we are going to be discuss about that automotive emissions formations and its techniques. Exhaust gas emissions from IC engine, internal combustion engine. So we know very well internal combustion engine that has an two uh, classifications called to be as a petrol and a diesel engine that is an SI spark ignition engine CI compression ignition engine so for both the fuels that are hydrocarbons that are extracted from the raw crude oil so that raw crude oil that contains hydrocarbon as a fuel so when it uh, make a combustion that emits the exhaust gas emissions that pollute the entire environment okay so in, in this figure i'm just showing out the common exhaust gas emission for both petrol and diesel vehicles so that blue color indicates that petrol uh, uh, emissions and that red color indicates that is especially for a diesel fuel uh, vehicle exhaust gas emissions so commonly the exhaust gases that are coming out from the petrol and diesel vehicles that are CO carbon monoxide, NO nitrogen oxides, HC that is UBHC unburned hydrocarbon. These three are common for petrol as well as for the diesel engines. And the remaining things like in particulate soot and particulate matters is especially for in diesel engines. And SO2 sulfur dioxide is especially for in diesel engines. And like in another thing lead oxides that is especially coming out from the petrol engines that is very minimal nominal in the output so let me discuss in deeply about that formation techniques of the exhaust gases from the petrol and diesel engines now the first thing is co carbon monoxide the carbon monoxide is most poisonous gas and it is a colorless gas so uh, the formation of carbon monoxide is purely based on the incomplete combustion that is taken place so when complete combustion taken place that will be formed as an co2 before getting to this the fuel that contains an hydrocarbon so the air and fuel mixtures that are entering into the cylinder so fuel that contains a hydrocarbon and air that contains hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen and other gases so when it burns when the combustion taken place it starts to react that will be formed as an exhaust gases so the co formation it's purely based on the incomplete combustion so when incomplete combustion taken place that will be formed co when complete combustion taken place that will be formed as an co2 carbon dioxide and once the rich mixture okay uh, like an uh, while accelerating the vehicle while starting that vehicle rich mixtures that are entering into the cylinder we are giving a rapid time for complete the combustion so within the stipulated time the fuel and air is not properly combusted that is not properly burned so this will too also uh, make an incomplete combustion the next thing is formation of co is like an wall quenching so when suppose the cylinder or the engine is quenched due to the environmental condition that particular zone is getting cold so that particular zone incomplete combustion will be taken place so wall quenching is an another factor for formation of carbon monoxide the next is so improper mixing of air fuel mixture so on this for example if the fuel injection system is there once the fuel is injected into the cylinder that nearest point to the fuel injector that will be formed as a rich mixture and nearest the surface of the uh, piston area that will be formed lean mixtures so this will make some difference of zones so that too also makes an incomplete combustion so these are all the uh, probability that makes an incomplete of combustion that will be formed as a carbon monoxide co the next is nitrogen oxides so the nitrogen oxides so which will be formed at the highest combustion temperature above 1800 degree kelvin of the temperature so uh, normally atmosphere that contains a nitrogen air so on this atmosphere temperature so it is a bi atomic in stature 
so in this bi atomic structure so what happens n2 nitrogen will be in the form so it is in stable and it is in inactive in state so when the temperature of the combustion temperature reaches above 1800 degree celsius so that will be uh, bonding will be break down into mono atomic state that is in two n stage okay so on this bi atomic to mono atomic stage it will be formed due to this temperature and at the temperature above 1800 kelvin so what happens so mono atomic structure 2n will be formed and it will be in re reactive stage so it starts to engage with the other gases so other gases that contains like in hydrocarbons and oxygen is there so that will be formed either no nitrogen oxides or nox or n2o or n2o3 or n2o5 so like different formations will be formed so it is purely based on the increase in the combustion temperature so when the occurrence of the combustion temperature increases now so either at the lean mixture or else at the rich mixture so whenever the lean mixture is getting entering into the cylinder more amount of air will be there so this will formed as an lean mixture so due to which the formation will occur and once the rich mixture also will increase the combustion temperature that will also formed a higher combustion temperature this will leads to nox formation then the next thing is hydrocarbon emission so it is unburned hydrocarbon actually hydrocarbon is a kind of fuel that we are extracted from the crude oil once if it is entering into the cylinder then it is coming out from the exhaust gases then it is called as an unburned hydrocarbon so it is not properly burned hydrocarbon so uh, it is not either it is not uh, properly mixed or else so due to this rapid combustion uh, uh, the enough time is not provided for making a complete combustion and rich mixtures so these are all the probability to make an unburned hydrocarbon ubhc so incomplete combustion rich mixtures that will make an unburned hydrocarbon emissions so these three gases are common for the petrol as well as for the diesel engines so co formation will be minimum in diesel engine but it will be formed but in petrol engine co formation is more and nox formation will be higher in the diesel engine because always that diesel engines which are run in lean mixtures because turbocharged engine that index more air due to the turbocharger <coughs> so that will be uh, diesel engines always will uh, run on the lean mixtures and unburned hydrocarbon is common for petrol and diesel engines then the remaining things like in petrol engines lead oxides will be formed while extracting the crude oil the catalyst due to this catalyst that fuel petrol contains a lead while making a combustion that will be uh, react with the oxygen that formed as a lead oxides in petrol engine and for diesel engines it will be formed as a sulfur dioxide due to the same uh, scenario so that contain uh, catalyst contain sulfur content so this will be formed as a sulfur dioxide and soot and particulate matter is in common for the diesel engines because diesel is a low grade fuel so while burning of this definitely diesel fuels that will make sand soot and particulate matters that is in uh, black smokes and others so the next is controlling techniques for the exhaust gas emission so on which catalytic converter is plays a vital part in this uh, controlling of harmful gases into harmless gases so this uh, i am here just showing the catalytic converter construction it is uh, like an honeycomb structure it has a micro holes through which the exhaust gases uh, passes so it has a two stages called to be as a reduction catalyst as well as for the oxidation catalyst so the reduction catalyst is made up both the catalyst is made like an honeycomb structure as like you are looking to this here so it is an honeycomb structure so on this honeycomb structure it will have an fine holes through which the exhaust gases will pass us and it will have an surface contact so reduction catalyst is made up like in platinum and rhodium and the oxidation catalyst is made up like in palladium and platinum so the exhaust gases are passes through which so the reaction which will be taken place due to this surfaces contact on this metals these metals uh, will starts to react once the combustion temperature is getting increases so i am here just showing the reactions 
so the, from which exhaust gases the exhaust emissions that are unburned hydrocarbon first one and second one is carbon monoxide nitrogen oxides and ox oxygen and other gases so once the reduction catalyst what it does now so the, the exhaust gases passes through this honeycomb structure it splits up the harmful gases into harmless gases for example nox emission is passes through this reduction catalyst so that reduction catalyst material that splits nox into nitrogen as well as for oxygen so nitrogen and oxygen is an harm, harmless gases and the remaining gas like in co when co is passes through this either it will be formed as an uh, co2 carbon monoxide that is from which nitrogen oxides oxygen is separated and that will be formed with the carbon monoxide uh, framed as an co2 so now nox emission and co will be converted into as an nitrogen as well as carbon dioxide and in the oxidation catalyst so on which oxidation catalyst so hc emission so on which hc emission hydrogen and carbon content is there so that will be uh, split up into the reduction catalyst so that contains an hydrogen and carbon as a separate and oxidation catalyst it has the property to uh, disseminate the oxygen content so what happens co is reacted with the oxidation catalyst and formed as an co2 and the remaining gases that contains like in hydrogen and oxygen is remaining so that starts to react at the temperature of above 600 degree celsius that will be formed as an h2o water so now the harmful gases like unburned hydrocarbon carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxides will be converted into as an carbon dioxide nitrogen oxygen and water content so in atmosphere itself it contains an hydrogen and oxygen but it is in biatomic state due to its environmental temperature and it is in stable and non reactive conditions once the temperature is getting increases about 600 degree celsius it will be uh, in by uh, monoatomic structure and uh, it will be in active state so it starts to combine together that will be formed into as an h2o yes you can it has an evidence that on the petrol engines you can able to find out the water droplets on the tail pipe while starting the engine in morning time so whenever the engine is getting started at the morning time so on the tail pipe you can able to view that water uh, droplets on the exhaust gas tail pipe so this is the main function of this catalytic converter so i am here just showing that reactions so it is a honeycomb structure on which honeycomb structure that contains platinum palladium and rhodium so that will be converted into co into co2 nox into nitrogen and oxygen and ubhc will be converted into as an so h2o as well as oxygen and like in co2 so when it starts to react this this is the main function of this because it is a honeycomb structure so definitely there, there will be in contact of the surface contact yes thank you all for this uh, session thank you everyone